It's easy to create customized filters for Final Cut Pro 10 using Apple Motion. Check this out. If you find this tutorial useful, be sure to check out our Final Cut Pro training packages to Orlando, Florida. Start by launching Apple Motion. Click on the Final Cut effect box and press open. Within Apple Motion, you will now see an effects source layer in the canvas window. Click on the View pull-down menu in the upper right corner of the Canvas window. Choose Safe Zones. Use the Safe Zone area to help guide you when resizing the effect source area. To add additional content for your effect, navigate to the Object menu and choose New Drop Zone. Again, resize the Drop Zone to your liking. To make this effect a bit more interesting, navigate to the Library tab and bring forward the Library window. Click on the Particle Emitters category. Find the Aurora Particle. Drag the Aurora Particle into the Layers window. Move back over to the Canvas window and adjust the Aurora Particle so it travels between the two drop zone areas. Finally, navigate to the File menu and choose Save. Give your new template a name. OK, now, when you launch Final Cut Pro, you'll notice you have a customized effect inside the Effects Browser. Drag the customized effect onto a clip within your Final Cut Pro project. Now, you'll notice the same content populates both drop zone areas. This is because Final Cut Pro will always use the source media for the clip in your project for all available drop zones. To change the content within an additional drop zone, click on the drop zone area within the inspector window. Choose a clip and start frame from the event library. Then press the apply button. Okay, that's it. Back up and watch the final result. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro 10 training class, visit GeniusDV.com.